Hello boys and girls, humans and unicorns. Today a video about accepting yourself and being proud of who you are. As some of you know, because I've talked about it before uh, in my videos, there are camps for trans youth. And last week I went to the camp for the last time. I think I've been to six camps and every time it feels like it's the best place in the world. And I'm gonna try to explain why and in the end of the video I will also show a little bit of me as a drag queen. One of the things at the camp that surprises me every time is the age range. The youngest are 12 and the oldest 24. But for some reason it works. Of course sometimes you cannot talk about the same thing as with someone who is a lot younger like and living on your own during your transition. But that doesn't mean you cannot connect with them. I had great and serious conversations with people who are 13. And I also learned a lot from the young people. Like having fun and not thinking about everything. Also, I'm so proud of all the participants. Some because they came in shy, not knowing anybody. In the end, they were laughing with their new friends and talking about personal stuff. Um, and some because they identify as male and they asked me to paint their nails. It's not always easy for me to be a trans guy with nail polish on. But for them it's so much harder. Um, they all said it's okay here but not in the real world. They are still in high school and it's hard enough to be accepted and seen as a guy, let alone be a guy with nail polish on. And they make me so proud because they are still open to try new things, things that people very often see as feminine. It also made me so happy when we talked about gender as how do you identify yourself and why, to see so many people are open to think about living outside the binary with such things as uh, boys who want to be pregnant or uh, not wanting any surgery or hormones because they feel masculine or feminine enough the way they are now. It's a bit weird that at a camp with everybody identifying as transgender it's the place where you think the least about being transgender because you don't have to think about everything you say or do because Everybody will understand. Something very special about the camp is the way we support each other. We cry together, we laugh together, we listen, uh, we give advice when someone asks for it. But like, we also give a hug or hold hands when someone talks about their feelings and struggles. And in the end, we let them know we are proud of them and it's okay to be who they are. Every camp, uh, the last night, you can dress up and perform in a show. My first camps, I wasn't comfortable enough with my body to be in the spotlight. But two years ago, we had uh, a Disney team and I went as a princess. Last year it was my first time as a drag queen and my first time I performed at the show. Very nervous, but it all went well. I can't show it with the sound on, thanks to copyright, but this is a little part of the mashup of RuPaul's Drag Race songs. In this camp we had a futuristic team, so I went as an alien queen and I made a mashup of songs about it's okay to be you, like uh, Born This Way of Lady Gaga and Who You Are of uh, Jessie J.
it's still very hard for me to go on stage like this. I might seem like someone was comfortable with who they are, but in the inside I was terrified. But there's only one reason why I do this. It's because people tell me I inspire them. It feels weird to hear people say that because to me I'm just an emotional wreck who didn't talk to anybody for years until I gained a little bit of confidence and now I just can't stop talking but only about negative things. I might find it hard uh, to see positivity in my life but I'm starting to accept that although I can't see it, others do believe in me. I know I believe everybody who has ever been to the camp is a special, beautiful, kind person. And I hope one day you are proud of who you are. I love you. Thanks.